YouTube, it's Jason. Let's go over some 12 lead EKG shortcuts for location of a STEMI and which artery is affected while looking at a 12 lead EKG. Quick disclaimer, I won't be going over any specific rhythms or how to identify them. I'm assuming you have that base knowledge. I'm simply going over an acronym that helped me remember which areas of the heart were of impacted by a STEMI and also which artery is affected while looking at the 12 lead. It's definitely not in-depth cardiology, but it should help you out in your exams. And remember, I'm just a student and therefore not a master of anything in medicine and making these presentations is simply a way to help me remember the information. So use it at your own discretion. Quick credits and acknowledgements. Uh, the infarct location was taught to me by my past paramedic partners. They taught me a lot while I worked on an ambulance and their information that they passed on to me has immensely helped me out while in PA school. Which part of the artery is affected is referenced from Pants Prep Pearl 2nd Edition, page 25. Big lie, little lie, ass backwards and all. This is the acronym. What does it mean? It actually is big lie, little lie, ass backwards and all, L-I-I -I and L-I. Big lie being just because it's bigger has one more eye than the little lie. It's just a quick reference to identify the location of an infarct on a 12 lead. And as I mentioned before, we'll quickly go over how to identify which coronary artery is affected. So here's an example 12 lead. We'll start with leads one, two, and three. Uh, we'll skip AVR, we'll go to AVL, AVF, and then we'll build the rest of it with V3, 2, V1, and V4 through V6. So big lie is L-I-I. -I. It's bigger than the little lie. We skip AVR. Ass backwards, we could be because we start at V3 and work our way up to V1, and then all is V4 through V6. And here's the key. And just remember that V1 and V2 are also anterior. So those are septal anterior. Now label this part of the 12 lead circumflex, this part right coronary artery, and this part as your left anterior descending. Now how I remember which artery is affected, um, starting with your right coronary artery, I remember it just simply because I can draw a big R here and the points of the R connect your inferior leads, two, three, and AVF. Your circumflex artery are, are your lateral leads. So this is represented by this funny looking sideways L that's laterally laying on its side. And that is your circumflex. And then your left anterior descending is simply this inverted L which are your anterior leads. And that's it. Pretty simple. Here is the reference from Pants Prep Pearl 2nd Edition. This is the chart. I feel, I'm a visual learner, so I feel like seeing it this way is a lot easier for me than trying to memorize a chart like this. And just for quick review, here is our 12 lead without any of the markings on it. As you can see, we have ST elevations in leads 2, 3, and AVF. It is an inferior infarct, but in this case, the RCA is not the affected artery. As I said before, all of this is just kind of general. Cardiology is a lot more complicated than this chart. So why is, the, why is this not the right coronary artery? Number one, there's no reciprocal ST depression in lead one. Two, there's ST elevations in leads five and six as well. And three, ST elevation in lead two is at least as high as that in lead three. So in two and three, they're about the same height. So in the world of cardiology, these three criteria are highly correlated with a circumflex occlusion. As I mentioned, this is just general knowledge here, going back to this. This will 
help you out on exams. It's not advanced cardiology. It's very, very basic and very generalized. There are obviously criteria in which cardiologists use to determine specifically which artery is occluded, but on exams, this should help you out. Instead of trying to memorize this, I think visually seeing it like this is really helpful. So, thanks for watching. If there are any mistakes or you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment. And also feel free to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.